Three non-Japanese experts are being asked to provide advice on the decommissioning of reactors at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. It's been nearly three years since the March 2011 earthquake and tsunami caused multiple nuclear meltdowns. The International Research Institute for Nuclear Decommissioning was set up last year to support the government in dismantling the crippled reactors. It's comprised of utilities including Tokyo Electric Power Company, the operator of Fukushima Daiichi, as well as makers of nuclear plant equipment. The organization has been soliciting technological assistance in Japan and abroad. The three foreign advisors include Louis Echavari, the director general of the Nuclear Energy Agency at the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. Echavari says a transparent decommissioning process should be drawn up along with a clear financial plan. It's better to have a multi-year budget because research and development of technology takes a long time. So it's very difficult to manage that if you have a very limited budget just for one year. Under the present plan, removing nuclear fuel debris from the reactors will start as early as in the first half of 2020. How that will be done is yet to be decided. That's because not much is known about the exact state of the damaged fuel that will require sophisticated technologies to remove. A nuclear industry organization held a recruiting event in Tokyo on Sunday. Nuclear-related organizations have been suffering from a shortage of applicants since the accident at Fukushima Daiichi in March 2011. Students who will graduate in the spring of 2015 gathered for the event featuring 22 companies and organizations. They included utility firms and reactor manufacturers. I study decontamination, so I would like a job in a related field. I also want to contribute to the process of shutting down Fukushima Daiichi. I felt so powerless when the accident occurred. I hope my university studies will be useful in helping Fukushima to recover. The annual event is held in Tokyo and Osaka. It attracted 420 people. This is slightly more than 388 who came last year, but is only one-fifth of the number before the Fukushima nuclear accident. Some companies are visiting universities around the country to recruit students. Whatever the future of nuclear power will be, we need young people with strong ambition. I hope such people will decide to work for us. Hattori says a key issue is whether the industry can show young people it has an appealing future.